Richie. So today we're going to be talking all, all about, about Instagram. So we're going to give you guys a little insight on our Instagram secrets, our yeah. feeds. And how we kind of like work with our pictures. And, and how crazy we are about Instagram. This is serious business, guys. This really it's is. Real. The struggle is real. So first and foremost, we actually want to thank you guys because we reached AK! You know how much we appreciate you guys' support, so thank you guys for subscribing. And if you're new to this channel, you can go click the red button down below. And second and foremost, you guys have been wondering about the case to five cases that I have. So I have this one, the Panton furry one, and I have the marble case. And I have a new one, which Whoa. is in their Metal Lux collection. And you guys were wondering how you can get like these designs specifically. So I'll link down below to my actual profile so you can buy the cases that I mm -hmm. customized and also get $10 off. So this is the phone that I used to take all the photos and edit. I even sometimes oh, take pictures. photos for her. Because my phone sucks, right, Benny? <laughs> I have a 4. I've got a 4S. A four, and it's, it's okay. I've been through that struggle. Also, uh, my phone kind of has a uh, crack already. It's kind of embarrassing, but it was actually a funny story as to how it got cracked. Anyway, I'm not going to go into details, yeah. but yeah, so it's cracked a little bit. I might get it fixed. Um, on our Ask FM, you guys were wondering why Richie follows so many people on Instagram. We like to, you know, scroll on Instagram and, you know. It's all about, like, inspiration, Yeah, right? exactly. And we follow friends, too. It's basically like Tumblr, you know, you just, like, look through everything, yeah. um, all the outfits, the way people edit their photos. I think Richie follows, like, 900 people. 900 people. I follow yeah. like 700 and it's all about inspiration and speaking of inspiration we actually have an app for you guys called style kick um, if you guys haven't heard about it it's an app where you can browse through tons of different outfits and basically shop the outfits that people put together and we actually have our own account called we are to the nine yeah, so if you want, you can check us just out on there and follow us and shop the stuff that we tagged on there. Okay, so before we get into the actual editing of our photos, we're going to quickly talk about Instagram feeds, which is a fairly new concept, I think. What is an Instagram feed? Instagram feed is basically your theme. For example, all our photos are squared. So we have like a squared Instagram feed mm -hmm. and um, we don't have like white borders or anything because we think it's like really consistent like yeah. looking through it and everything's like in order and really OCD. Yeah. I used to not care about it but once I started like looking at my feed I kind of got annoyed and <laughs> like I was like okay I'll just do square feed. And I'll give you a warning right now, once you get started in the Instagram feed you gotta stick to it. It looks good. You gotta so. know what you want first <laughs> yeah. of all. What like what kind of pictures you want to take. Really crazy. Yeah so. everyone keeps on asking how we get our feeds to look the way it does. Yeah. And we actually have really different feeds the contrast from each other. Yeah, mine is like washed out, like really faded Instagram pictures, and mine's really like clear and yeah. contrasty, brightish kind of photos. Uh -huh. So it's kind of cool. Like everyone has like a different feed, all about the Instagram feeds. Exactly. And feeds change actually, and people change, filters change, we change. <laughs> okay, Cassie. <laughs> so the editing apps that we usually use is. Visco and Afterlife. And what I really, really love about Visco Cam the most is that you can actually preview your feed yeah. on Visco Cam. Yeah. Like import a section of your Instagram and then preview how each photo is gonna look like on your Instagram and kind of adjust each photo yeah, to how you match wanna. your feed and make it kind of fit in your feed slow, slash slow. theme. So it will flow. So it's not like dark darker and like you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know, it's just, it's just our... Yeah, and the filters on there are really pretty. So a little tip that I have for Afterlight is that there's a little option in the bottom right hand corner of the home page in Afterlight and you can actually click that and change the background of editing from black or white. So you can choose whether you want to edit on a black background or a white background. And another editing app that we use for our Weird to the Nines Instagrams mostly is an app called Wordswag. Word so it's basically an app where you can add cool fonts mm -hmm. onto your picture. And it's really nice. I really like the aesthetic of it. It's really clean and current and yeah, like, very nice. I just really like the design <laughs> of it. So yeah. Oh, I also wanted to talk about the iOS update because there's this cool feature called Favorites 
in the photo albums where you can actually favorite your own photo um, on your camera roll and it will put it on a little folder called favorites and you can basically browse through all of your favorite photos. So finally, we're gonna get on to editing the photos starting off with Richie's way. Whoa! So the app I use to edit my photos is Afterlight and I'm gonna look for a picture to edit. Okay, so obviously my feet is square, so I'm gonna square my picture. So you kind of wanna fix it to where you want to Whatever. <laughs> so depending on the picture, I like to sort of brighten it or fix the saturation. Kind of adjust the lighting of the picture. So with this picture, I guess it's fine, but I can use exposure to sort of brighten it. And you can already see that it is becoming faded, like my feed. The filter I use usually are Rust and I usually do it all the way and then Layla. Depending on my feed, I just sort of play around and then, you know, just just play around and see how it is. <laughs> Layla is my filter. Yeah, mine's pretty simple. That's how I do it. I just do whatever and then just put it on my profile and then save it. So let's actually post this picture. Y'all know how to post it, so I'm just gonna go here. It's funny because it's actually hard to make a caption for your picture. So for this one, I don't even know what I'm gonna caption it. What should I do? I don't know, an emoji. Let's uh, look for a crystal, but there's no crystal. <laughs> Usually, if you don't know what to put, you just put, put emojis. emojis. So for this one, since I'm highlighting my crystal necklace, I'm just gonna, you know, maybe put a diamond and post it. So this is how my feed looks like. It's funny, because it was just dark over here. <laughs> and then it just switches over to faded. I kind of like this one better. So I'll actually show you Cassie's Instagram. You can see the difference from mine and hers. Hers is a little bit more contrast. And we are to the nines. Where is it? So this is our we are to the nines Instagram feed. And it's kind of funny how it's a combination of both our feeds. And yeah, here you'll find a lot of our friends. Okay, so I actually have two ways that I like to use to edit my photo. The first way is using Afterlight, and like I said, I like to keep the background on white. So I actually prepared a photo for you guys. So I'm gonna use this photo because it's really shadowy and I can show you how to fix that. So first, obviously you gotta square it because I have a square feed. So I'm gonna square the photo. And then to remove the shadow, I'm gonna go to brightness and then put that on full blast and then probably hit that up one more time. Okay, so usually I'd actually leave it like that, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to add the filters in for you guys. So first I go to guest and then I go all the way to Idaho and put the filter up all the way. And then I'll go to original and go to relic and kind of like change it a bit and what I like about Relic is that it kind of makes the photo look a little bit more blue and it brings out the highlights a lot and sometimes I'll even like desaturate the photo it kind of depends on the photo I'm editing but I'll usually desaturate and then maybe put the shadows down a bit because like I said I like mine to be really contrasty and less faded so yeah that's basically the first way I like to edit the photo and I'm gonna preview it on visco cam or VSCO cam whichever way you want to pronounce it and see if it matches the feed. And it's looking pretty good actually. So if I want to change it and tweak it to match the feed more, I'll go ahead and use another filter on ViscoCam, but it seems to look good like that. So the second way I like to edit is on ViscoCam itself. And I'm gonna edit a photo of my friend Claire because her hair is so sick. Oh my gosh, too many selfies, too many selfies. Where's the photo? Where's the photo? Oh my God. Okay, here it is. So this is the photo I'm gonna edit of Claire. Okay, and usually I'll go with the brightness again, or exposure going all the way up. And then I'm gonna choose one of these filters. My favorite filters to use are all of the A filters, A4, A5, A6, 7, 8, whatever. But I'll usually go with A6 and just leave it like that. So that's how I edit using ViscoCam. And that's basically it. So this is my Instagram feed. And we're back. So I hope you guys found some inspiration on how we actually edit our photos. Each photo is different so we kind of tweak it to yeah. kind of fit into the feed like we said before. But that's just the normal formula that we use usually. Yeah, just find your way of editing it. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of, you know, crazy, crazy you know. how obsessed we are we about, about Instagram, but I feel like Instagram makes you want to go more places to take more photos, you know what I mean? I guess so, like be more adventurous. Like yeah, take a lot of shots. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at Cassie Masenkai and at Richie Coming to One. And at We, we Are To The, the Nines. Nines if you want to. And also you guys can leave your Instagrams down below so we can follow you guys on our Weird to the Nines mm -hmm. account. And tell us how you like to have your feed. Do you like to have it squared with the white borders? What kind of filters you use? What apps you use? Yeah, we'd love to know and hear your ways of yeah. editing. Thank y'all for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye! Bye, see you later. Alrighty, let's do this. <laughs> That's an awesome start. Wait, I can't. You have to get comfortable. Get comfortable, everybody. Talking all about Instagram. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, it's kind of a comedy. <laughs> XOXO. Hugs and kisses. Maybe talking about. One more time. Funny how both our feeds are combined. <laughs> Why do you always <laughs> try not to smile? So you're talking about <laughs> Cassie, I'm done. Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay, let's do this. I suck at this. Oh.